The new Vance & Hines Suzuki engine featuring four-valve technology makes its debut at the season opening Gator Nationals. So the head has two intake valves and two exhaust valves per cylinder. When you go to four-valve technology, the key thing is, is lighter valve train parts, lighter valves, no longer one big valve, you got two little valves. Also, when you take the surface area of those two little valves and add it up, it's bigger than the one big valve. So you do quite a few things. You unshroud some parts, you lighten up the valve train components, you make it where the head can flow a lot more air at lower lifts. It starts out as a 100 pound chunk of aluminum and all said and done, I think this carcass weighs about 22 pounds. This was a total team effort at Vance and Hines with Andrew Hines doing the CAD modeling. That's what allows the machines to turn a chunk of aluminum into part of an almost 400 horsepower engine. We use Mazak and Centroid machines here primarily. We use Mazak lays, Mazak mills, and uh, our five axis machines are done by Centroid. So we have two of those that just uh, run heads all day long and, and they're chewing on these things whenever they can to output as many as we can as fast as we can. While it's new for Pro Stock Motorcycle, this engine technology has been around for a while. It's actually 1980s technology, but it's now coming to the forefront here in all the 1,000 liter bikes that all the current manufacturers have, and that's what you call a finger follower. Basically eliminates the need of a bucket and some other components, lightening up your valve train mass, allowing you to turn more RPM, be a little less lift limited. You can do a lot more things in your cam profile. So it really opens doors and makes it very beneficial to the racer. And that's what it's all about. For the NHRA, I'm John Kernan in Indianapolis.